Hello and welcome, it's time to fill your boots, episode 6. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications to get told that we're coming to you. Now, last week, another great week, we're in front, still in front, we added the money and we're keeping on going. The Ripple UK, we've had four winners on the trot, at last we're starting to maybe turn the corner there. Even though that part of the portfolio is still behind, we get a wee run and that's what we want. Now that's all about the thing with a portfolio, you need to keep going and need to keep your strength. Now the EPL last week, uh, no games but we went into the international games, we've done very well in them in the VIP but we didn't need to do any of them in the fill your boots. So, a couple of winners in the Ripple Edit, that was a great return for us in the place market and we'll give you an update by going to the screen and having a look at exactly what's happening. But first of all, what about Newcastle? If you've laid Newcastle for the, the relegation, you've done very well because there's no danger they're getting relegated now. Lingard, Rice, all these players will be turning up and uh, getting their, filling their boots at Newcastle where the wages are going to get offered, even if they're short-term players for two seasons or one season. Matic will be looking for a job there. Mata will be looking for a job there. The lobby. Uh, jumping over from Man United right across the road. They'll get the other signings, Telemans, he'll be coming in. Uh, sort of players like that, John Shelby, he'll now go to Tranmere Rovers or Preston North End, because that's his time up. Uh, but it's going to be an interesting time in Newcastle, it's going to be great to see how they challenge Man City. It's going to make the EPL very, very interesting. But let's just jump over, we'll have a look at the portfolio and see how we're performing and just show you how we're going in front. So here we are, we're over in the portfolio page. You can see here all our lay bet results up until now. We're uh, a bit behind with that one, but as I say, we went on four winners in the trot there. So we'll take the positive. That's the only side of the portfolio that's hurting us just now. We know it'll turn around. We've just got to be patient. And we've allocated a bank to it, so we've got to let that bank do its work and get us in front. Now, when we go over to the Ripple Edit, we just had two place bets last week. Uh, 1.17, very short price, but then a nice one at 1.93, finished second. And we got the money there. So that's good. Another couple of payments into our portfolio, that's what we want. We went on to the EPL no games last week because we had the international break for the VIP boys and the VIP boys done very well. They got a couple of accumulators up, 25 to 1 winner and the correct score and I think we got match odds, I think we got them all right except one. Superb, well done, great work. Now down at the bottom here, we've got our trades. You can see the first week we had 42 trades, 243 and last week I said to you, far too many trades. 259 trades, we got 61 uh, in total, we ended up with a 246, great returns, but just too much work for us. We want to bet less, bet smarter, be sensible. And we just done eight trades last week and managed to come away with 125. So if you're in the uh, uh, Pro Tactics Racing, the newest service that we've got, it's got everything for you. Complete portfolio. If you want to be an organised better, you must start to think about joining that service. And the guys that have done it, thanks for all the emails, thanks for all the work you've done with me. There's videos going to be put in there every week and it's going to be just completely showing you how to win in the UK racing and it's a great service and the data, there's over 24,000 pieces of data in there and then a whole load of other stuff in the other uh, section for the tab twos. Super, great work, well done and any emails, questions, send them over and I'm happy to answer them all. So as you can see the trades very well, done very well again, a lot shorter, brilliant, love it. 125 commissions off, we ended up about 118. So you can see here, the Dutch bets that we just added last week, 23 Dutch bets we managed to do. Again, they come for the Pro, ta pro, pro Tactics Racing, and that's the uh, personal updates. That's the new service on, that we've got and we've just launched. So you can see here, 226, the commission 1130, 21470. We're trying to get everything so that you can see how this easy this is to have this portfolio together and everything's going to come through the one service so you can just build and be stronger where you're betting and understand exactly how the money arrives. That's the most important thing. So you can see there our portfolio, 3,000 minus in the Ripple UK, we've got profit in the edit, profit in the, the trades, profit in the EPL and profit in the Dutch bets, which is great. We've got 395 profit now and that's where we're going to keep building now because we know the Ripple UK is going to turn that deficit round over time and we're going to keep performing in the other ones. That's the whole thing about having a portfolio. 13.17% increase in bank, just what we love, absolutely brilliant. And we'll be looking to add to all them this weekend because we've got the EPL on, the Edit's got some bets today as well, brilliant. We've got the Ripple UK's got some bets again today, we've got trades, we've got Dutch bets. So we're busy and that's great, this is what we want. We want to keep growing and growing and growing. So 
Make sure you watch your results and keep your portfolio organised. So there you are, that's us updated. We've got all our results in and we're 13% increase in bank. That's what we want, we want to keep growing. And that's where us even knowing that the Ripple, the Ripple UK is getting us a, a bit of grief and going through a bit of variance just now. That'll turn around. Then he be one of these punters that sets a bank and only uses a quarter of the bank and then does a runner and misses the upswing. Because that's very important that you didn't do that and you didn't want to miss out when all the profits start to arrive. Because we know how they're going to arrive. It's done it before, and it'll just come through this wee spell and start to perform again. Now, when we go into the Premier League this year, we really are look, look this week. We're really looking forward to a few games. The Newcastle Tottenham game is going to be a good one. We want to see how that goes. And another one is the Brentford uh, Chelsea game. It'll be interesting to see if Brentford can keep it up, keep their performances going, because they'll be tested with Chelsea this weekend. There was a thing last week about the England manager, a wee poll on Betfair, I think, to see if what size of contract he should get. Being Scottish, I think he should get a 20-year contract. I think he's the best thing that's ever happened to England. <laughs> I don't think he could manage to uh, beat Scotland at Wembley last time either, 0-0, no, and I think the time before. We love it. So, Gareth Southgate, you've got a job for life for every Scotsman, to be honest with you. Uh, now, into your trades, we've changed the trades, which was great, because we cut them. And we cut them eight trades last week, and we'd made half the amount of money we made in 63. Superb. So, any of you guys that are wanting to understand how the trades work, just send me an email, drop me an email, I'm at the end of the end of the email for you, and as you know, uh, you'll get a response practically right away, in the coaching, in the VIP, in the Ripple updates, anything, the premium services uh, hit the profit for the lay winter liabilities again, and that's a bit disappointing that the Ripple UK is not following it, but that's just one of these things, and as I say, we've always got to make sure that we know exactly how we're performing, what, we're, what our banks are set for, as, as we've said before, the Ripple UK banks take a bit of hitting, but we understand that the other ones are performing and then the Ripple UK will come and join in. So make sure that you understand exactly what you're doing and enjoy your betting. But more importantly, be in control. Always know why you're betting and what the bet is that you've placed and the purpose that, that the bet's been placed because it's got to fit your betting style. There's no point in placing bets and hiding and just hoping something happens. You've got to understand how it's going to happen. Probability, um, strike rate, return on investment, everything's important to understand exactly how you make money. And there's no better place to make money than Betfair because you're the boss. Simple as that, nobody's pressing the button for you, you're pressing the button, you're making it happen. So always remember, it's your money, it's my money, it's everybody's money. Have respect for Betfair and have respect for the winners as well as the losers. And I'll speak to you in the next video.